Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I am just now seeing this, but I thought it was so funny because I was just thinking about B. Smith yesterday. And I'm like, you know, that whole situation, because I did, like, at least two or three videos on her um, with that whole situation with her and Dan, um, which, you know, you know, he had her, his girlfriend move in um with him and uh taking care of B supposedly and that was just a whole fiasco but so today from Madame Noir the quotations on the article she took off B Smith's husband said he and his girlfriend broke up since wife passing well I keep telling everybody about this karma situation Last year, the Washington Post wrote about B. Smith's fight with Alzheimer's, told mostly through the lens of her husband, Dan Gatsby. Gatsby, in full transparency, shared that in caring for Smith full-time along with his daughter, he was also dating another woman, Alexander Lerner. While Lerner never lived with Gatsby and Smith, she did spend time there and, according to Gatsby, had a great relationship with Smith and even shared the re in the responsibility of her care at times. Oh, they really changing up the story now. As you can imagine, the sight of a married man dating another woman, and for black women, a white woman at that was hard to stomach. People argued that Gatsby shouldn't be dating at all, no matter what mental state his wife was in. Some felt that a relationship was fine with Belerna should not have been in the Smith's home. It was a lot to discuss. Now, months after B. Smith's death this past February, Gatsby confirmed in an interview that his uh, relationship with Lerner has expired. In an interview with Jean Sheriff of, of Successful Philanthropy with host Jean Shalafurf, Gatsby took the time to clear up some misconceptions and speak briefly about his breakup with Lerner. Jean Sheriff said, You had a relationship with a woman while you were living with your wife, and I understand this woman. Alexander moved into your Dan Gatsby. No, she never lived there. That was an angry woman. There was a room where you could just say and put stuff in if she wanted to put stuff. But the press, and because of the racial situation, the press and certain people had a field day with that. My wife dated white men, Asian men. I dated white, black, whatever. Some people are not comfortable with that. But Alex Lerner never lived in my house. She was there on weekends twice a month. Sure. And I go into town and stay with her at her place on occasion. But it was such a hot topic for people who deal in salaciousness. But no, she never lived in there. She never. She was very kind to B when she was there. B was lovely even through Alzheimer's. Me and my daughter still laugh at it. They have a tendency. Some people are really violent or really mean. When she got mad, she would make up words because she couldn't figure out how to say curse words. And we would just laugh and, and she would start laughing. Her spirit and soul was always amazing. Jean Sheriff of Are you and Alex together anymore? Dan Gatsby No she took off and you know what Whatever I wish her well Life has way of Well whatever You deserve Whatever you deserve You'll ultimately get and that's fine Wow And um they have the clip of the video there, and I'll put the link to this article in the description box. But yeah, that was just, yeah. Um, and I had somebody send me this dirty comment, and I had to block the person um, on one of my videos talking about how I look, and I'm just jealous because no black men want me. Who said that? Um, and first of all, I never said about the lady's race. I don't even, I didn't even care. That wasn't even a factor for me. It was a factor for a lot of people, 
But I didn't care about that. I cared about the fact that he was all um, showing around town with this woman. They're in the pool together. Um, they're with B. Um, you know, it was reports that she was smacking B's hand. So, you know, we didn't know if B was getting abused in there or not. There were petitions going out for B. Smith. Um, B. Smith didn't have any relatives or anything like that or, or that we knew of or that were in the picture. She didn't have any natural children. Uh, so everybody was really outraged about this subject. And I believe she she lived it. She was there too on the weekends. And she had her own room with her stuff in it. Okay, so I'm sure she was there more than weekends. I mean, um... There was interviews when before B. Smith got, you know, super sick that, uh, you know, they asked if she wanted uh, somebody to be in the house, something like that, to um, help take care of her. So I forgot how it was, and she was like, I don't know about that. So, um, you know, it was just an awful, awful situation. Everybody that knows this story knows the details. But yeah, oh yeah, that person that left that, that nasty comment, you know, um, I ended up writing this, I usually don't respond, but I, I wrote this long thing, and I don't even know if they saw it, but, um, it's not a, it's not a racial issue for me, it was just a respect issue, um, so, let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this? Do you think this is a karma situation? They were supposed to have a reality show. Uh, and I don't know if that included B. Smith or that was after, you know, B. Smith died. Well, what was supposed to happen with this reality show? But they were supposed to have one. And maybe Dan was smart and wise to the fact that this lady probably just wanted money and he didn't he didn't give up the money so maybe that's a good thing so and then maybe a week ago I was looking on his Instagram I used to check on his Instagram for time to time to see what was going on with B. Smith and um it is at thank you Dan and I looked last week and I said I don't see Alex anywhere so, I was like, oh, that's a little weird. And, you know, he had turned his comments off, you know, way back when this whole thing was going on. His comments were back on. So, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's going on with that. So, now we all know. So, okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just rate the video. The video helps me get recognized on the YouTube and um so it could be thumbs up or thumbs down it doesn't matter just rate the video please and um we'll talk later take care